Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Dark Jack, and in this video I go 75 and 3 on the map Plaza using my super overpowered Target Finder FAL. And this is the most kills that I've gotten so far in Black Ops 2. I have not been able to get over 100 kills so far, because mostly I play with the full party, and it's hard to get a lot of kills when you're playing with a party because there are only so many kills to go around. And most of the time on the Xbox, once you get an orbital V set up, the other team quits out. And so it's really difficult to get a ton of kills when you play with a party. Because you have to get into the right kind of lobby where you're playing against people who don't quit out. And what I want to ask in this video is why do so many people hate on Call of Duty? Why does Call of Duty get so much hate? It seems like for Call of Duty you either love it or you hate it. There's no in-between, there's no middle ground when it comes to the, this game or franchise. And so if you don't like Call of Duty, you can explain in the comment section below why you don't like it and why you prefer other games instead of it. But make sure to be specific in your criticisms of Call of Duty. Try to be as specific as possible, and then I'll try to answer your criticisms of the game. So in this video I'm going to be playing the Devil's Advocate. I'm going to be defending Call of Duty. And it seems like people hate on it just because the game is popular. People like to hate on things that are popular. They like to root for the underdog. And Call of Duty is a dominant franchise. It is the most played game of any video, video game in the world. Black Ops 2 is the number one game on Xbox Live, and the number two game is actually Minecraft, and then the number three game is Halo 4, so there are, there are actually more people playing Minecraft on Xbox than Halo 4, which is, which is kind of funny, considering the fact that I enjoy Halo as well. And so, should the game be responsible for the cheap tactics that people use in it? Because Call of Duty has a lot of stuff in it that is really annoying to deal with, like the target finder, even though there's a counter to it. So should the game be responsible for tactics people use in the game? That's a big part of whether or not people will like or hate Call of Duty. And I know that other game developers don't like Call of Duty because Call of Duty draws people away from their games. Because so many people play it, and the model for Call of Duty is that you can buy Call of Duty and then have entertainment for the entire year. You can, you can basically not buy any other game and just play Call of Duty all year long. So for $60, you could have entertainment for the entire year. Though, of course, you can always buy DLC, which is, I think, a pretty good deal this year. So developers hate it because it draws customers away from their games. And now I'm going to play the Devil's Advocate. I'm going to defend Call of Duty against all, all other first-person shooters out there. And Call of Duty is popular, I think, because it has the best controls out of any first-person shooter game. Call of Duty has such amazing and fluid controls. There's really no other comparison. The only game that I can think of that as close to the good controls that Call of Duty has is Halo. Call of Duty has great controls. There is almost no input lag when it comes to the controls. And a lot of games have terrible input lag when it comes to the controller. And it's like there's a slight built-in delay between the time that you do something on your controller and when the game responds. So in the Battlefield series, if you, pl if you play Battlefield or Medal of Honor, it seems like the controls in that game are really sluggish and they're hard to control. And the controls feel heavy and there's more input lag in that game than there is in Call of Duty. Whereas in Call of Duty, you can play on a high sensitivity and do extremely well, and the game reacts quite accurately to your sensitivity. So in a high sensitivity, if you're skilled enough, you can do extremely well, whereas in other games, playing on high sensitivity is not an option. So for sake of comparison, for the game Far Cry 3, which is a great game that I've just beaten, in Far Cry 3, it's an amazing open world shooter game, but the gunplay in that game is pretty weak. I mean, honestly, the controls are heavy, they're, they're sluggish, the, the sh first person shooter con controls for, for, for Far, Far Cry 3 are really not that great. The game is, at its core, a game, a game about exploration, not shooting. And the enemy AI is not that great either. And the same is also true of Battlefield as, as well as Killzone. The, con the controls are just not that great. They're not that responsive. And Call of Duty has a huge advantage in that area. And Call of Duty has the best gunplay out of any first person shooter game. The gunplay in Call of Duty is unparalleled. They've gotten it down to a science. There's a huge variety of different guns that you can use. And then it feels rewarding to get kills in Call of Duty and to rack up high kill streaks. Call of Duty has something for everyone. There's online multiplayer, there's the single player campaign, there's combat training for people who are new at the game. There are a huge variety of different playlists. There's a zombies playlist with a wide variety of different game modes. And with the DLC that's coming out, there's going to be zombie DLC. They're adding a new map which is going to be called Die Rise, with four new multiplayer maps and a new SMG called the Peacekeeper. 
So Call of Duty has something for everyone. There's something in this game for every kind of gamer. Not just people who enjoy multiplayer. And the multiplayer is fast-paced and addicting. It keep, keeps people coming back to it. Because generally when it comes to video games, the single player sells the game, and the multiplayer keeps people coming back to it. And for Call of Duty, the multiplayer is pretty amazing. It's addicting, it's fast-paced, it's gun-on-gun -gun action. And there's really no comparison. I mean, there, there are, there's Battlefield, there's Medal of Honor, there's Halo, and those games do have gun-on-gun -gun action, but for Call of Duty, Call of Duty seems to be the most rewarding, and it seems to, seems to be the most accessible as well. Call of Duty's controls are very accessible, and anyone can pick it up, and with enough practice can do well at it. And Black Ops 2 has taken out a lot, a lot of things that people didn't like about Call of Duty. Black Ops 2 took out death streaks, they took out the knife lunge, and they made Ghost a late unlock. And so, also, most of the game's problems can be avoided by playing with a team. If you play with a team, you don't have to worry about joining games in progress. You don't have to worry about losing because of bad teammates that feed the enemy team kill streaks. And this game rewards good players with high kill streaks. It has the Orbital VSAT, it has the Swarm, the Lodestar, lots of good kill streaks to reward good players. But it also has lots of good low kill streaks to reward players who aren't as good. And in this game, almost everything has a counter. The target finder has a counter in Cold Blooded, as well as the dual band. And then Ghost has a counter in the VSAT. Explosives have a counter in Flak Jacket. Stuns and flashes can be countered with Tactical Mask. UAVs can be countered with Ghost, or you can shoot them down, or use Counter UAV. The VSAT can be countered by the Counter UAV, and the Counter UAV can be countered by shooting it down or using Hardwired. And in the maps themselves, each power position has a counter to it. So you, there's always a way to flank around and get to the enemy. E each power position on each map has a counter to it, a place of cover or a flanking route. And I think Call of Duty has the best campaigns out of any modern first-person shooter. I think the campaigns in Call of Duty are amazing. It's a non-stop roller coaster ride. If you're an adrenaline junkie, you'll certainly enjoy playing the campaign over and over again because the action never stops. You're constantly moving from one action set piece to another. But the one thing that cannot be defended is the online connection and the lack of dedicated servers and all the dashboarding and the fact that the host does not migrate if the person who is the host dashboarded. That is still inexcusable in my, my book and I really cannot, cannot overlook the fact that the net, net code, the networking, and the host migration is just not that great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and post the comment section below what you don't like about Call of Duty and I'll see you guys later.